from Boxing Star Management. He's going to tell us a little bit about his management team and the fighters he has. So well, we have a boxing stars management. We manage the fighters like Daniel Yelusinov, he's Olympic gold medalist and world champion. And we have a two-time bronze medalist, Ivan Dutchko, he's a six foot nine giant, you know, badass, real. And we have a Muhammad Rasul Majidov. I mean that man can crack. I mean you saw that anyway. And yeah, Muhammad Rasul is a three time world champion in amateurs. He has a huge experience in amateurs. That's why we're building his career more faster than others. It's a fast track for him, you know. So he fought Ed Fontaine on his debut. It was like a tough fight for a debut, actually, but he stopped him. Then he fought on Joshua Ruiz card in Saudi Arabia. He fought Tom Little. Tom is a good boxer. Nobody, everybody predicted that it's going to be a distance, but Majuda stops him in second round. And, and Ivan Dichko is a 9 and 0, 9 knockouts. So pretty much we have a good fight. Solid. How excited are you for Mohamed Rasul for April to be on the Andrade card? Well, you see, when you, when the fighter is on fast track, it must be a fast track. You know what I mean? Like, cause he fought last year only one time. And we were expecting that we understand that COVID situation and all that, but we were expecting that at least he will fight the last year if he can fight like a two, twice, you know? So we're very excited that he's coming back in the ring again, coming back to action, because the last time he stopped the fighter, Sahara Delgado, and there was only two knockouts on that show last time, last year in November, and coming from our guys, you know, from Daniel and him. And I think it's going to be a good fight. It's going to be like full of action fight, and hopefully you're going to finish it with a knockout. Yeah. He looked pretty good today in sparring when I saw him against Franklin, you know? Oh, the he just get in town pretty much like a 10 days before, sometimes a jet lag still, he still feel himself that sometimes he weak, sometimes he feel he want to sleep, you know? His jet lag is always hard because he's flying here like a 12 hours. Because he was in Pavetkin camp preparing him for Jillian Oh, okay. So, um, anything in the works for Ivan? Well, Ivan, we're waiting now, we have a different, different offers from promoters for right now. A lot of people, a lot of promoters are interested in him right now. And, well, we're pretty much just taking everything, trying to see what's the best offer there, you know. So, he's going to fight soon, too. May, probably, maybe in May. How hard is it for, for him to get good sparring, being a 6'9 guy? Uh, actually, it's hard, definitely hard, because sometimes, when this guy spars, and Ivan can, he has a punch, don't get me wrong. And sometimes the fighters don't want just to come and spar him. You know, nobody, because of course nobody wants to get injured, nobody, you know, some fighters has a fight. But, I mean, this year it was much better, much, much better than previous years. Even 2019, it was hard to find, you know, it was hard to find some spark. Sometimes it's hard even for Majuda, because the guy, again, he's a puncher. Nobody wants to spar guys like that. So, anybody else that you're going to bring in soon um, into camp here in South Florida from overseas? Yeah, of course. We have a couple couple fighters in our list. Right now, we're checking all of them, and soon we're going to make some announcements about it. All right, so you have to keep us in, t uh, in, uh, in tune, all right? So all the, the guys yeah. you're coming, coming down here yeah. to South Florida. 100%. All right, so thank you so much for chatting with us, and thank you for giving us time with your fighter. And uh, all the best to you come April 17th. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, thank you.